Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're talking about how to attract love into our lives. In this video, I want to go over a few of my manifestation experiences as well as some practical advice. I want this to help as many people as it can when it comes to attracting love. I love love so much. Like it is my favorite topic to talk about. It's my favorite thing ever, the feeling, just everything about love. So I'll go ahead and get you some tea and let's sit down and chat about this. So when it comes to law of attraction and when it comes to attracting things, we don't believe in bad karma we don't believe in bad energy so therefore we don't want to attract that and in order to avoid that we have to follow some rules okay and the main rule you cannot attract somebody that is already in a relationship you guys are simply not aligned right now if you try to attract someone who's already in a relationship you are going to get some kind of karmic repercussions for that you know you can't just step into somebody else's connection and ruin that it's possible it can happen, but I do not advise it. I do not encourage it. It's absolutely negative energy, and we don't want to do that to attract love into our lives. That does not ultimately make us happy. So let's not do that. Let's not think about anybody who's in a relationship. You guys are simply not aligned, okay? So let's get into it. I want to tell you guys about a few of my experiences that happened in high school and after high school. So in high school, for example, I got every single person that I wanted. Like I was attracting them all and it didn't matter what grade they were in. I came in for my freshman year of high school and I attracted plenty of seniors. I attracted football players. I just was like getting them, like literally getting them, just attracting every single one. And I want to say the main reason for that is my confidence. Even after high school, I've had a lot of experiences where there are people I see or even influencers. I would see them and I would attract them some way, somehow. It's something about that confidence that you have when you know. So let's really get into it. When it comes to manifesting, whether that's love, whether that's career, whatever it may be, there is nothing complicated about manifesting. Manifestation is simply knowing. You should have absolutely no doubt when you have a deep knowing like that. What do you believe? What do you know? All the affirmation, visualization, all that stuff. Yes, it helps you to tap into that knowing. But honestly, if you have to tap into it, you don't know enough you don't know deep enough you're not 100 percent confident enough that's how manifestation works you have to just have a deep knowing i always say i don't want to make a ton of videos about manifestation because it's really that simple you can watch as many manifestation coaches or whoever as you want they can give you a different video about a technique on how to tap into your manifestation at the end of the day it always comes back to having that deep knowing that whatever you want, you're gonna have. I don't want anyone who doesn't feel like the universe works with them or whatever the case may be. If you have limited beliefs about manifestation, that's okay because now we're gonna get to the practical advice. Practical advice on how to attract love, okay? okay you ready, you ready? Put that energy into yourself. All of the energy that we use trying to get someone or attract someone should be going towards yourself. I hate to break it to you, but if you are so focused on someone else loving you if you are so focused on that you're never going to attract the love that you want you will always settle you will never know what true happiness is if you don't tap into who you are and who you know yourself to be you have to put that energy into yourself you have to work out you have to learn how to be alone you have to learn about singleness and i have a lot of videos on my channel all about singleness how to navigate it how to get through the lonely seasons trust me because i am there i'm in my single season and that doesn't mean i'm not attracting love just because i've been single for a while doesn't mean i'm not attracting love it just means that i am happy in my singleness and i'm still trying to find myself so that i'm able to attract the right partner which is ultimately what i want you guys to do it's simply by being so okay in your singleness that you don't need anyone to make you feel good all you need is yourself and of course we want other people to make us feel good because it's our human nature and believe me we will get there believe me it will happen as soon as you tap into who you are and accept yourself okay and i've always told people everyone should have a period where they live by themselves okay if you've been in a relationship for a long time and you've never had a chance to be by yourself 
I personally don't feel like you can truly love that person until you let go and learn to love yourself, until they can let go and learn to love themselves. It's a hard truth, but it's real. You can never find true love or attract true love until you know what love is within yourself. It's just so much energy being put out into finding these men or finding a partner. It's just so much energy towards it. And though I love love, okay, I love it. A lot of my videos now are about self-love. I love love. But if you are single and you wanna attract love, chasing people has run its course it's no longer chase someone especially if you're a woman i'm sorry you do not chase you attract i know you hear that all the time but you cannot chase something that you naturally attract so do not chase anything go about your day literally right now go about your day and keep moving forward another way to attract real love is by letting go and healing from your past relationships we get into different relationships with all these people and we expect them to be like our previous partner. Or we expect them to be like this or that. We set high expectations or low expectations for them. We never really know what is real because we're so blinded by what we're used to in the past. We haven't truly let go. We haven't ever truly healed. So ultimately, we're hurting ourselves by loving someone while still thinking about our exes. We can't choose to go love somebody when we still love our ex okay or else you're gonna get in a relationship with someone and you are gonna keep thinking about your ex you're never gonna be satisfied because they're not them okay she ain't you you've heard the song by chris brown she ain't you she ain't you and that's exactly how you're gonna feel towards anybody that comes into your life who's not your ex you have to heal from it and trust me, I've been through this experience so many times. I've been through many heartbreaks. I've been through many surprising heartbreaks. You know, heartbreaks are heartbreaks, right? But having a surprising heartbreak, that's insanity. That's evil, you know? And I've been through that. So, you know, if you've been through that as well and you really need help with healing from a past relationship or anything from the past, go ahead and purchase my book on Amazon. It's called Unbreakable and it's all about healing your heart. It's all about finding self-love and finding yourself and just becoming the best person that you can be without attaching yourself to what was. I think it's an amazing book. It's changed my life. Even though I wrote it, it's literally changed my life. I love reading it when I feel down, when I feel like I need a push, when I feel like I need to focus. That book is for you. If your heart is broken, Broken. trust me I understand go get that book go heal your heart go heal so you can attract the love that you want okay I hope that helps you guys kind of understand how to attract love in a universal way and also in a practical way if you really like this video and you love what I'm talking about go ahead and hit the subscribe button now so you can see more videos like this and go ahead and give me a thumbs up so more people like you can see this video in the meantime I will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching